Hello and welcome to another video from the Gin Shop the Traffic Coffee Cup. Today's video, we are in London, but we're not going on the underground, we're going on the overground. This will be our, the channel's first ever video and first ever trip around parts of the overground network. So our first one is going to take us to Hackney Downs. So come along for the ride. I've got a feeling this is going to be a really good video. Before we start, there's the Stansted Express. I took that when me and Mrs. went to Germany. Price you pay? I don't think it's really worth it. So uh, let's get towards Hackney Downs and then from there, I'll tell you the rest of the route. Now, I actually got uh, on the overground when I did a video when I went around to parts of the network to go to football grounds around London and I went to Hackney Downs then and I went to a coffee shop that I really liked and I want to see if it's actually still there, if it's still going I hope it is because I actually enjoyed the hot chocolate from there I can't lie um, I didn't do a part 2 to that because the last time I only got like 30 odd views so I think you'll learn don't mix transport football so we're not we're not doing football grounds. We're just going to go for a look around this, look around the overground because I've never done it before. So um, yeah, not something a bit different. <laughs> I look back through all my other videos I've done and it's underground heavy. So I thought let's do something a bit different today, shall we? So yeah. But before we go, I'll show you the inside of the train. No, I won't because the shutters are open. Oh, there we go. You can see from one end to the other, which I think is actually pretty nice. It's about that, like it's a bit like a tube, a tube train, in the way you can see from both ends. But the uh, seat behind the end seat is for it's a priority seat, but it is very well spaced out. Um, the overground goes past White Hart Lane. We're not going that far today, but if you're going to go to Tottenham's ground, that's the train. This is the underground. This is the overground service you'd use. We're going to go as far as Hackney, and then we're going to make our way over uh, to other parts of London. Between 
next stop is Cambridge Heath. Give me a job to your See what Hackney do. silhouetted gherkin and all the, all the skyscrapers behind in front of it that one. that's one thing we're going to see a lot of on, the, on this uh, trip around the overcrowd different uh, silhouettes in front of the sun um, I mean I think by the time we finished the sun might have actually set so depends how long it takes us to get around doesn't it really um, Towards Wilston and then down towards uh, Imperial Wharf. I don't know where to finish that video because Imperial Wharf is fairly close to Stamford Bridge. But Stamford Bridge is an overground station, so uh, Imperial Wharf it is. <laughs> there we go, our first overground service completed. Tick off the list. Hackney Downs. I just love how. Nice these class seven tens look, especially in this colour scheme. One thing I can't remember though is which side that cafe was on. Was it on this side or was it on the other side? It was on the other side. The <laughs> I don't know. Because I can see it. <laughs> see what you see. So we need to get over there. Right then. Let's go. So when we get on to platform one, there's a walkway that takes us to Hackney Central. So. That makes it slightly easier to get round, doesn't it? So we don't have to actually go in and out of stations. And I think there's like touch points where you like touch your oyster guard so that it knows that you've walked from one to the other. But there's me. Not stopping now. <laughs> Right, so let's make our way to Hackney Central. just keeps a log of where you've gone on the network because they time you and if you time out you get charged standard fellow arm 
but if you tap in and out, it just makes it a lot easier. Myself a bit of a break. Look at that sunset, that looks beautiful. We are at Wilston Junction, a part of London I have never been to. Just to give you a lay of the land, there's Wilson Junction lower, and there's Wilson Junction higher. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm actually really enjoying seeing different parts of London, you know. I mean, the underground's great, but you don't see anything apart from tunnels. <laughs> and it is easy to get round. I can't lie, it is really easy to just like navigate your way around the network. I mean, most tube lines link up somewhere to this. So in that way, it's kind of easy to get round. I just thought I'd get off and stretch my legs because I've literally gone from one side of London to the other. <laughs> no tunnels required. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what we're I would say is like because it's not as big as the tube it, it's not that busy I mean currently it's half past four in the evening so it's probably going to get busier but I don't think it'll be like most of the tube lines in about an hour's time when everyone's leaving work and it's just carnage <laughs> It's actually been just a really, just really fun experience. I mean, I mean, I love the tube. I'm not going to say I don't, but I'm going to try and stay on the overground for a bit longer because I don't want to get onto a tube train and be like a sardine in a can. So, um, yeah, let's just see where we are now. Halston Tap Centre. 
The only guns waiting the parents people there. And there's a depot for the overground. There's two overground trains. That's Wilson Junction Depot, I think. Oh yeah, it must be. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that sunset. Beautiful. We're gonna head over that way towards Overground Station, which is also probably one of the least used tube stations on the whole network. It doesn't get a break in the service. That could be our next stop, we're just not going to get off there. So we're going to leave Willsden Junction and head towards Kensington Island. I think Wilston Junction's got to be. We haven't been on this network of, ever, but Wilston Junction's a great station. I mean, unless you get on the footbridge up there, see behind me, and you've got the overground line there. <laughs> As I showed you before, Wilston Junction, uh, like the train shed. So, yeah, as I said, our next stop is going to be Kensington Olympia, and then we're going to head towards Imperial Wharf, where I think we'll end our little jaunt on the overground. Because I've, <laughs> I'm not lying, I've been, I've been on the go since 7 o'clock this morning, and I am shattered. <laughs> Who knows, we might get a late night Heathrow spotters. Who knows? But so far, so good. Loving the overground. <laughs> Just this one. Oh well, we'll get the next one. <laughs> and I've just checked my Oyster TFL app. Right. We started. I started at Westminster, went all the way to Liverpool Street, then Liverpool Street to here, and I tapped out. And if you look at that on a map, that's a very long way. And it cost me two pounds, 80 pence. Yup. <laughs> I think, because I used my Oyster card from Euston to Leicester Square. <laughs> I forgot where I got. Uh, and then walked from Leicester Square to we Westminster and came to Liverpool Street. I can't believe it was that cheap. So, yeah, we're still at. Wilsden Junction <laughs> and uh, we'll see the train arrive on this platform and our next time you'll see me will be at Kensington Olympia. The key thing about it was the fact that I tapped the pink purple reader at Hackney. Um, you don't have to tap out, you just tap in. So it's like, okay, so then the system recognises, oh, they've Let's go to shut under the bridge. Um, it just tells TFL and the system he's changed trains, and that is the key thing to do if you get if you're using Hackney. Um, bit more train action. Me, I came through Wilston Junction earlier because uh, the pedaling I went through there, as did that one. So yeah. 
Um, if you're ever on the underground and you and you go through Hackney, um, and you go from Hackney Central to Hackney Downs, make sure you do tap one of the pink readers, so then the system goes right. They've swapped lines. Because if you don't, I think you might be charged differently. I'm not going to try it myself. So, um, just a ginger nut and coffee cup tip there. <laughs> but tonight is beautiful. I mean, look at look at the sky behind me. And this is London in January. It is a bit cold, but it's fine. And there we go. Kensington Olympia. Tube map. Uh, it's like a little dog leg that you can get a tube train to and from Earl's Court. I'll put the uh, times you can get it from Earl's Court anyway. But on the overground, it's a normal stop like every other one is. Um, I need to find out the reason why it's not a regular service on the actual tube. I think it's used because Earl's Court is such like a big interchange for the tube, which is stations is just over there. Um, like Earl's Court and Olympia could be used to like turn trains around. Um, so, and I think when the like beer festivals on in London. It's here, so that's when I think more regular service would happen. And I just thought, you know what, let's, let's come and see Kensington Olympia. <laughs> it's quite a nice station, I can't lie. Um, yeah, you can see like platform, there's a sign over there for platform, what if I'll show you. Over there, that says, where's it gone? Platform one. Trains to Earl's Court and High Street 10. So, yeah, <laughs> that's where you can get tube trains from when they're running. I'd love to be able to do that. Actually, get a tube train from or to Kensington Olympia. <laughs> I mean, eventually, I want to do the um, tube challenge, not like set a fast time or anything. But to do it, you've got to call at this station. So I've got to do it when there's something on, <laughs> or first thing in the morning. So yeah, um, we're going to wait for the next train, which is going to take us towards Clapham Junction. But we're not going to go as far as Clapham Junction. We're going to finish the video off at Imperial Wharf. Now I've come onto Platform One, which is when the trains are running. This is the platform they use, but. Unless my eyes are deceiving me, which they're not, the roundels are still orange, not red. TFL, this is an underground side. <laughs> the roundel needs changing. <laughs> this is what I was like, why are all the roundels orange <laughs> and not underground red? Um, I mean, I've, I've watched Jeff Marshall loads especially when it comes to the tube and I remember he <laughs> he did a video where he caught a underground train from here to Earl's Court bus back and he did it like five times I was like yeah I'm not getting up that early mate <laughs> uh, so yeah um, platform one at Kensington Olympia the empty tube platform probably in London if you know of another one that's barely used, put it in the comments.
we have apparently public holidays, weekends, and some events, and that's it. But we need to get back over to the other side and get over to Imperial Wharf, where we're going to finish the video. And I'll finish it on the banks of the Thames. We've made it, Imperial. Wow. Oh God, does that look? Because of where we are, which is Chelsea, I would hate to find out how much it costs to live in there. <laughs> but yeah, Imperial Wharf. How imposing does it look? But yeah, as a first trip around the London Overground, I really enjoyed myself. So, um, that we're going to let this uh, train behind me leave and then we're going to go to the Thames edge and finish the video on the River Thames. Of London is in Chelsea, so I can obviously say that this channel has been made in Chelsea. <laughs> but on the banks of the Thames, on a windy evening, it's time to end the video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to miss the video, and me and the coffee cup will see you in the next one.